And we're back. Welcome back. <laughs> From what? I don't know. I don't know. Well, we're busy gluing. <clears throat> so, uh, we'll take, I guess, this uh, segment to go over the miniatures. Um, like I mentioned earlier, uh, you get two identical sprues for both factions. Um, you end up having to use parts from both to assemble them. Yeah, and your thing's in your face. <laughs> That's better. Uh, maybe I can hide the, uh, the, the, the sink issue with the, the voice. Maybe. <clears throat> um, the Goliaths were a gem to assemble. Uh, one of my pet peeves, especially with Games Workshop miniatures, but with pretty much any company's miniatures, is when they do, um... The torso, and you have to add the left arm, the right arm, and then the weapon. Because without having a third arm to hold the the gun in place, and you need to take the tape off. Oh. Uh, and hold both shoulders in place. Um, there's no way of getting it perfectly aligned, and you always end up with like somebody oh, that looks really retarded. Well, the Goliath's shoulders have the perfect pinning for it, and you can actually glue the arm weight, glue the other arm, and then the, the gun fits perfectly. Um, the heads lock in. The, there are two parts. you got the mohawk and then the face, and the face just fits in. Uh, Maybe you should put one up so we can people can see. Yeah, sure. So, if you want to... Right, let me hold it. Oh. Yeah. Um, so, it's fantastic to assemble. Uh, it took... Maybe about an hour to assemble 10 of these. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, the bases are gorgeous. There's more detail on these miniatures than most other Games Workshop miniatures to date. Uh, they just seem to get better and better. Um, so what Luke's holding up right now is Skullshank. He's the leader of uh, this Goliath band. Um, he's got a combi pistol, plasma pistol stubber, and a power hammer. Power hammer, not a hammer. <laughs> Although the ladies mm. might like that. Actually, especially, well, it depends. Especially with the uh, the size of his muscles. Hummer. Anyways, moving on. Moving okay. on. Uh, then I started working on the um, the Escher miniatures. Um, right off the bat, uh, probably my least favorite models to assemble ever. Uh, I don't think I want to assemble any more, and if they do come out with the Jews for them, um, which are going to be... What are Jews? Jews are lower than a regular gang member. They're junior uh, initiates. Okay. Um, and in the original Necromunda, the, they tend to be smaller, because like, they're kids. Um, I wouldn't want to assemble for this. Uh, the faces are smaller than a fingernail, and they attach into the hair. Every time I tried to clip one out, there'd be a bit of flashing, and I couldn't even see it. Yeah, I know I'm starting to get old, and my eyes are probably starting to go, but uh, I'm not as old as some other people. <clears throat> Hi. <laughs> You're getting there. Uh, but, yeah, and there's no grooves for, the, uh, for attaching anything. The torso and legs are separate, and in most cases... They're standing on one foot on high heels. That's a part that's not even attached to the body, per se, other than by glue. Um, yeah, no thanks. Uh, the arms suffered from the problem I described, uh, where I'd put one arm, try to put the other one, but then the gun, the gun wouldn't line up. Um, and they're so fragile that you end up squashing them. Um, I was talking to Joe, one of our, uh, our our Games Workshop rep here in town. Uh, she refused to even assemble them. She got her husband to, to assemble them. Oh. She, she's more of a painter than a modeler, granted. But, yeah, these were extremely frustrating. Um, but, like like the Goliaths, you get two sprues of them in the uh, Necromunda starter. Yeah, you can and see the faces on this one here. And if you buy one of the uh, the extra boxes, it's the exact same two screws again. So uh, you can build the entire ten miniatures per the instructions. Then in the instructions it uh, mentions uh, some variety of weapons, so you can go based off what you buy for your gang. So it can be WYSIWYG. 
Um, I really do hope that they release a pack of just weapons. Because not all the weapons available are in there as models. Cool. Yep. Um, the terrain that comes with the game. Um, it's basically just obstacles. Uh, it looks like it's doors that are welded together. Uh, ammo stashes, weapon stashes, objectives. But then there's these cute little um, mines, if you will. I see frag grenades, crack grenades, melta bombs. Um, and there's what, excuse me, it looks like a sewer grate with a Day of the Tentacle tentacles that sticks out of it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. So, but looking at the base for the... Um the obstacles is not very big, no. so I think it'll be very easy to knock off. Yeah. So, at least or even dice hits. At least those are bigger ones. At least the bigger ones have uh, wider bases that you actually can just pin mm -hmm. on or uh, looking at it. And if it's anything like the Shadow War Armageddon terrain, you'll definitely have to glue it together, um, which is unfortunate because you want to be able to change it as much as you can. But if you glue it, you're stuck. Hmm, okay. Yeah, so I guess uh, this will conclude our first video. Sure. Yep. Uh, stay tuned. We'll probably be recording a couple of the our tryout uh, games of this, and then eventually our campaign. Yeah. We're going to try to drag in a couple more people in there, especially as the games come out. Um, and I'm going to see about recording some of the battles that are going to be happening at the store. Cool. Uh, they're starting a weekly campaign uh, unfortunately they started way too early i finished work before i can even make it there wow uh what time you start at four? they started start at four i finished at five so uh but sh uh joe was mentioning that they'll probably be doing one on sundays as well it just hasn't been advertised yet okay uh also there's some new terrain that's uh been released that we'll uh, probably do a review of we should do a, a quick sneak peek of this the terrain we'll be playing with um, or you want to keep that? We'll keep that for, ah, for okay. now. Okay. Yeah. All right. So this is Chris and Luke signing out. We'll uh, see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.